Hi, I'm Mona. This is uh, Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for uh, June 18th, 2023. It's real windy outside. We already went for a walk. It's not, <clears throat> it's not raining and it's not freezing or anything. This is real windy. Um, camera looks all lopsided, but it's cool. <laughs> so we've just been hanging out here in Utah in this one spot. And, um, I think we're going to be headed out of Utah for the next spot. I want to try to make it over to, uh, the Nevada area. Just take a detour. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be several hours drive, but you know what? I just kind of want to get out of here, out of the state. Um, there's nice camping around yeah there's some nice spots you know whatever but for me only for me i'm not saying for everybody it's like when i go into town and i see stuff i don't like and you know and i see i don't know but <laughs> i don't really like it here uh the only joy i've had is when i don't really have too much interaction with people out here um, I did meet a, a nice lady uh, at the last place. Uh, she was a little more of an open-minded person, you know, which is, is real nice, you know. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I've decided that, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to stay the whole 14 days here. Because another thing is, like, I was talking to somebody that I have met on the road, you know, because I have a, a lot of friends I met on the road. And, um... This particular person, I kind of look up to this person because, you know, I see the fun he's having. And you know what? I feel like I'm being held back because I'm missing a document. And that's my passport, you know? Uh, you know, I feel like I want to venture out a little more. You know, at least, you know, like, for example, I've had somebody tell me about Alaska and another person invite me over there. But I can't go there if I don't have a passport to cut through Canada, right? Um, so I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I want to, you know, and I, I also would like to one day see if I could uh, go through Mexico. or. But for that, though, I would like to go... I would like to have a partner or somebody that would like to also go because it's better to travel into Mexico, you know, in numbers, in groups, you right? Just safer, I feel like, because I did meet a lady from Mexico who was like, you know, don't go alone, you know? And I, I take her word for it. Also, you know, there's other places I want to go. I, you know, and, and that passport is kind of holding me back. At first I was thinking, oh, the dogs are holding, but you know what? I could probably put them up in a board somewhere. Maybe there's somebody that will babysit that I could uh, leave them with or, you know, something like that. Because, you know, Chica's difficult. So I might have to find boarding for them if I decide that I want to, like, travel to maybe another country. or Because there are some places I want to check out. And um, I was thinking, too, also, on this journey, I'm like, oh, I'll probably find my person on the road, you know, because they will be like me. But you know what? That's like pretty much impossible when you're on the road because there's, there's no, you know, I mean, there's no perfect person, number one, right? But also when you hit a certain age, people, they just want to settle down and not do nothing and just be home and just continue to pay bills and work their ass, you know, and it's like, uh, I don't want to have to be stuck with someone who's like that because I like to travel and I like to check stuff out and I don't want to be trapped somewhere with someone who is just not, you know, with it. You know what I mean? So, and, and I have noticed also that like people are separating from people, probably they're separating from people who make them feel stuck in some way, right? And if you're feeling stuck or not, you know, there's something, you know, it's probably not a good idea to be in a, in a relationship with, you know, someone like that. So anyways, 
I'm just gonna, I'm trying to work on getting my passport right now because I want to check some stuff out, some more stuff outside the United States because, you know, there's a lot of wonderful full places. I really love Texas. I, I'm gonna be straight. I really love Texas, but I don't know that I want to, you know, get a place and settle down yet. I kind of want to check some other stuff out. So I'm working on that. And, um, I think that'll, I'll be more happier that way. You know, well, sure, you know, you can't find someone who likes to do the exact things you do and who's not as open-minded as you are. You know, there's always some sort of some hang up and, and you know, that's when compromise comes in, but not if I'm feeling like I'm jailed and stuck somewhere. That's no, mm -mm. I don't want to be involved in anything like that. Right. And, um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to see how long, you know, it just seems like when I go to town, I don't like it, you know, but you know, if I do do the 14 days, perhaps I will just go into town real quick. Don't talk to anybody. Just do what I need to do and come back. Right. If that's the case, then it's okay <laughs> when I don't have to inter interact with, with people, because you know what? Sometimes, you know, you go interact with some people and they got a weird frame of mind, weird thinking, like not logical, you know, like, and you know, and I, I don't, I don't want to sit and try to explain things to anybody who's already set in their ways and you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, I, I kind of can't wait to get out of here. But then I saw some other of my friends who were going towards uh, Nevada area and there was snow right there. And I kind of don't want to be in the snow. I don't know. How, I mean, it should be like getting into summertime soon. And I don't know what's going on with this weather. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm still headed towards my sister. Um, I'm having hopefully something will get mailed over there that will allow me to get my passport and um that's what I you know and I was thinking of trying to get to uh Texas by October but I might not get there till like November because I kind of want to stop by Missouri and I want to check and see how my friend Mike is doing that guy is a real good friend of mine that I met not when I lived there but when I came back around to visit there to take, I met, I met a couple and I met a, this guy and they were all real cool. And to be quite honest with you, that guy, Mike has helped me out a lot more than he thinks. And, um, I would like to go back there and see how is he, how is he doing and everything like that. Um, before I move, uh, going towards Texas again. Um, also, uh, there was another young lady and her, her wife, I think they're married. She's calling her the wife. So I think they're married, but I would like to go and see how they're doing. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling something might be bothering one of them. So maybe, you know, they need a reading or I don't know, but you know, the, the thing is, is, is I don't want to deal with people who are immature who are high, who are just, you know, close minded. And, and when that comes along, I just kind of, I don't want to fight with them. I don't want to argue with them. I just kind of turn around and go another direction. You know, it's, it's okay for me. Um, but that's what I felt the last time, but she, she found me somehow and, you know, I'm going to see if they're okay. They were actually very nice. It was just one instance I didn't like. Um, because I'm not responsible for anyone. They've got to take care of their own stuff. You know, I take care of myself. People got to take care of themselves. And they can't expect people to be there at their beckoning call. And that's just something I can't do for people. You know, I can help real quick while I'm there. But that's it, you know, so... That's, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Anyways, that's what's going on. And um, I've been working on the ASMR stuff. I kind of, I really like that. I like doing those and being in the nature than I do the tarot. So the tarot is going to slow down a little bit, but just enough to help anybody who might need it. Because I don't want to leave anybody hanging. 
but that's how it's going to be. And uh, hopefully, you know, everybody's doing good on their healing journey because I'm taking it that there's not too many people watching videos right now because they've healed from something and they don't need me like that anymore. You don't, you don't need me like that. You know, and hopefully you found the help you, you need it, you know. Um, at first I was like, oh, no. But, you know, <clears throat> like I said, like I said before, I, you know, I'm not sure that I want to blow up my channels because then that keeps me uh, stuck to them. Right. I don't want to be stuck anywhere, you know, and I'm hoping that everybody would understand that if I do slow down on the tear. I do like to do it, though, to keep my practice up because of people out here that I give read, uh, free readings to. But, you know, like I, I say to everybody, when, when I tell them I have YouTube channels, I tell them about this channel first because it's my favorite one because uh, of my experiences out here. And then I tell them, and I have a tarot channel, but then I throw in, but don't go to the tarot channel if you're living a happy life, you know, because the tarot, it can turn backwards and make you feel like, oh, is something happening? But people don't understand that they're just stories. People take them to heart too much sometimes. And, you know, anyways, that's what's going on. And that's what we're doing. Dr. Good, I'm about to have something to eat for breakfast. I just fed them. And we're going to see about, you know, doing something with this wind, you know, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But that's all I have for you guys. This is Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for uh, June 9th, 19th. I said I, did I say 19th? 18th or 19th. I'll have to double check. Uh, 2023. But I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.